The fundamental physical interpretations of the cosmic microwave background signal make it impossible for it to come from the Big Bang. That particular signal is something called a black body spectrum. But in cosmology, we observe the most perfect black body we've ever encountered. So to say that it's a black body kind of undersells it. It's the most perfect black body. When you heat up a solid or liquid body here on Earth and you split the light that comes from that glowing substance with a prism, you see a very specific continuous rainbow of color. The problem with attributing such a rainbow of color, like the one in the microwave background, to the beginning of the universe is that it's being attributed to a gaseous moment where the first atoms were just recombining. As soon as you go back to the CMB, the universe is too hot to have actual atomic hydrogen. So it has the nucleus of hydrogen, which you just call a proton. The problem with that is that whenever we take such gaseous atoms and heat them in laboratories, we don't see a continuous rainbow. We see individual lines. And um, that's what's <clears throat> crazy. There are fundamental physical principles that govern what allows an object to be a black body. Like if you take carbon, carbon atom placed in a Bunsen burner produces individual line spectra. It can absorb and emit at certain individual wavelengths. You take that carbon and you put it into a diamond lattice, totally see-through to visible light, and then if you change the lattice of the diamond to be graphite, as you increase the perfection of the hexagonal lattice of the carbon arrangement, you get closer and closer to something whose radiation profile looks exactly like this predicted perfect Planckian distribution. There is no plasma on Earth that produces a perfect thermalized spectrum. 